Ezekiel, Yehezkel, 16. Again, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, make known to Jerusalem her abominations, and say, Thus said the Master Yahuwah to Jerusalem, Your origin and your birth are from the land of Canaan. Your father was an Amorite and your mother a Hittite. As for your birth, on the day you were born, your navel cord was not cut, nor were you washed in water for cleansing, and were not rubbed with salt at all, nor wrapped in cloth at all. No eye felt sorry for you to do any of these for you, to have compassion on you. But you were thrown out into the open field to the loathing of your life on the day you were born. Then I passed by you and saw you trampled down in your own blood. And I said to you, in your blood, live. And I said to you, in your blood, live. I've let you grow like a plant in the field. And you were grown and are great. And you come in the finest ornaments. Breasts were formed. Your hair grew. And you were naked and bare. Again I passed by you, and I looked upon you, and saw that your time was the time of carnal love, and I spread my skirt over you, and I covered your nakedness. And I swore an oath to you, and entered into a covenant with you, and you became mine, declares, declares the Master Yahuwah. And I washed you in water, and I washed off your blood, and I anointed you with oil, and I dressed you in embroidered work, and gave you sandals of leather. And I wrapped you in fine linen and covered you with silk. And I adorned you with ornaments. And I put bracelets on your wrist and, I cha and a chain on your neck. And I put a ring on your nose and earrings in your ears and a crown of adorning on your head. Thus you were adorned with gold and silver. And your dress was of fine linen and silk and embroidered cloth. You ate fine flour and honey and oil. And you were exceedingly beautiful and became fit for royalty. And your name went out among the nations because of your loveliness, for it was perfect. By my splendor, which I had put on you, declares the Master Yahuwah. But you trusted in your own loveliness and whored because of your name and poured out your whorings on everyone passing by who would have it. And you took some of your garments and made multicolored high places for yourself and hoard on them, which should not have come about, nor shall be, nor shall it be. And you took your splendid ornaments of my gold and my silver that I gave you, and made for yourselves images of a male and hoard with them. And you took your embroidered garments and covered them, and you set my oil and my incense before them, and my food which I gave you, fine flour and oil and honey, which I fed you, you set it before them as sweet incense. And so it was, declares the Master Yahuwah. You took your sons and your daughters, whom you bore to me, and these you slaughtered as food to them. Were your whorings a small matter, that you have slain my children and gave them up to them by causing them to pass through the fire? And in all your abominations and whorings, did you not remember the days of your youth when you were naked and bare, trampled down in your blood? Then it came to be after all your evil, woe, woe to you, declares the master Yahuwah, that you also built an arched place for yourself and made a high place in every street for yourself. You built your high places at the head of every way and made your loveliness to be loathed. And you parted your feet to everyone who passed by and increased your whorings. And you whored with the sons of Mitzrayim, your neighbors, great of flesh, and you increased your whorings to provoke me. And see, I have stretched out my hand against you and withdrew what is lawfully yours and gave you up to the desire of those who hate you, the daughters of the Philistines, who are ashamed of your wicked way. And you hoard with the sons of Ashur without being satisfied, and you hoard with them and still were not satisfied. And you increased your whorings as far as the land of the traders, the Kazdima, and even then you were not satisfied. How weak is your heart, declares the Master Yahuwah, seeing you do all this, the deeds of a shameless whore. You built your arched place at the head of every way, 
and built your high place in every street. Yet you were unlike a whore. You scorned a harlot fee. The wife who commits adultery, who takes strangers instead of her husband. To all whores they give gifts, but you gave gifts to all your lovers and bribed them to come to you from all around in your whorings. Thus you are different from other women in your whoring because no one whores after you and in you giving a harlot fee, while well, a harlot fee was not given to you. Thus you are different. Therefore, O oh whore, hear the word of Yahuwah. Thus said the master Yahuwah. Because your copper was poured out and your nakedness uncovered in your whorings with your lovers and with the idols of your abominations and because of the blood of your children which you gave to them, Therefore, see, I am gathering all your lovers with whom you took pleasure, all those you loved, with all those you hated. And I shall gather them from all around against you, and shall uncover your nakedness to them, and they shall see all your nakedness. And I shall judge you with judgments of the adulteresses and shedders of blood. And I shall bring on you the blood of wrath and jealousy. And I shall give you into their hand, and they shall throw your arched place down, and they shall break down your high places, and they shall strip you of your garments, and they shall take your splendid adornments, and leave you naked and bare, and they shall bring up an assembly against you, and they shall stone you with stones, and thrust you through with their swords, and burn your houses with fire, and execute judgments on you before the eyes of many women. And I shall make you stop whoring, and no longer give harlot fees. So I shall bring my wrath to rest upon you, and my jealousy shall turn away from you. And I shall be calm, no longer be vexed, because you did not remember the days of your youth, but troubled me with all of this. So see, I shall also bring your way on your head, declares the Master Yahuwah. And shall I not do this thought for all your abominations? See all who use Proverbs shall use this proverb against you, like mother, like daughter. You are your mother's daughter, who despises her husband and her children. And you are the sister of your sisters, who despise their husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amorite. And your elder sister is Shomeron, she and her daughters, who is dwelling to the north of you. And your younger sister, who is dwelling to the south of you, is Sodom and her daughters. And have you not walked in their ways and did according to their abominations? But in all your ways, you soon became more corrupt than they. As I live, declares the Master Yahuwah, neither your sister Sodom nor her daughters have done as you have and your daughters have done. See, this was the crookedness of your sister Sodom. She and her daughter had pride, sufficiency of bread, and unconcerned ease, and she did not help the poor and needy. And they were haughty and did abomination before me, and I took them away when I saw it. And Shomeron did not commit half of your sins, but you have increased your abominations more than they. And by all the abominations which you have done and made your sisters seem righteous, you also, who pleaded for your sisters, bear your own shame, because the sins which you committed were more abominable than theirs. They are more righteous than you, so be ashamed too, and bear your own shame because you have made your sisters seem righteous. And I shall turn back their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, and the captivity of Shomeron and her daughters, and the captivity of your captives with them, so that you bear your shame, and, so, and shall blush for all that you did when you comforted them. And your sisters, Sodom and her daughters, return to, return to their former state, and Shomeron and her daughters return to their former state, and you and your daughters return, return to your former state. Was not your sister Sodom a byword in your mouth in the days of your pride, before your evil was exposed, as the time of approach of the daughters of Aram and all who are around her, and of the daughters of the Philistines who are despising you everywhere? You shall bear your wickedness and your abominations, declares Yahuwah. For thus said the master Yahuwah, I shall deal with you as you have done, and that you have des despised the oath by breaking the covenant. But I shall remember my covenant with you in the days of your youth, 
and I shall establish an everlasting covenant with you. And you shall remember your ways and be ashamed when you receive your older and younger sisters, and I shall give them to you for daughters, though not by your own covenant. And I myself shall establish my covenant with you, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah, so that you remember, and you shall be ashamed, and never open your mouth any your mouth any more because of your shame, when I pardon you for all you have done, declares the Master Yahuwah. I try not to interrupt Yah when he's speaking. And that whole chapter, 16, he is speaking. What is he speaking about? Son of man, make known to Jerusalem her abominations. You think you're so righteous, Jerusalem? Your abominations are more than Sodom. Your abominations are worse than Shomeron, the center of false worship for the house of Israel. You're worse than a whore because at least a whore gets paid. But you have paid others to corrupt you. I raised you up from nothing. You were nothing. You were naked and alone, covered in your own, blo own blood by the side of a highway child who was just given up, but Yah adopted you, and yet you thumbed your nose in his face. You threw the middle finger up to the creator of the universe because you refused to walk in his ways, and even then claimed his name, and even then had words of rebuke for the likes of Sodom and for Shomeron, even as you walk in your own unrighteousness, worse than all of the rest, because you're a whore that didn't even get paid. Adultery is allowable for divorce. Divorce is allowable for adultery. You adulterate against Yah in false worship. He is right and just to put you away. And yet, verse 62, And I myself, Yahuwah, shall establish my covenant with you, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah, so that you remember. And you shall be ashamed, and never, never open your mouth anymore because of your shame, when I pardon you for all you have done. I could see many a denominational pastor making hay out of this. Love the sinner, hate the sin. Judge not, lest ye be judged. We, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of Yah. Yup. What about judge and judge righteously according to the law? For if that judgment had been in place in the first place, Jerusalem wouldn't have fallen as far as they did to adulterate against the Creator in the first place. But to judge righteously, you must know righteousness. Quit whoring. Quit whoring against the Creator. Quit trying to have it your way taking the gifts that he has given you, his gold and silver, and using it to worship falsely. You don't want to be divorced from Yah. Depart from me, you who work lawlessness. I never knew you. Matthew 5, 17. No, I'm sorry, Matthew 7, 21. Bless y'all. Shalom.